Would you like to start utilizing JotForm tables, but not really sure where to start? Well, let me share with you my top 10 favorite tables templates. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and today we're talking about my top 10 tables templates. Say that 10 times fast. Now, if you are a fan of JotForm and you are already creating forms, you know that you can either start from scratch or you can even utilize templates. Now, templates allow you to get those creative juices flowing if you really aren't sure where to start. Well, it's no different with tables. Tables also have templates. So let's head up to the top. I'm already in my form, so let's jump over to my tables. Then let's go ahead and create a table. And again, you can start from scratch or you can upload a CSV. But for this, let's go ahead and utilize a template. Now, if you already know what you're wanting to create, you can always search for it up in the top where it says search for a template. But like I mentioned, we're gonna walk through the top 10 favorite templates. And number one on the list is going to be a list template. So I'm gonna head over to the categories on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and do a scroll down. And we can see here the list template is one of the more popular ones because there are 78 templates available. So let's go ahead and choose list template. And we can see we have checklist or to-do list. So let's go ahead and take a scroll and see what we have. We have an employee task list, guest list, bucket list. I, let's take a look at this bucket list template. So at a glance across the top, we can see this is broken out into three different tabs. We have things to do, things to eat, and places to see. Now I can see here that there is a filter. So if I get rid of this filter, we should be able to see everything. And we can see that we have a star rating on the right hand side. And then we can also see that they have started off. So if it's been completed, it's been starred off over on the right hand side. So if I jump over to things to eat, these are all the places that we can go to eat. And then we also have places to see. So I can see that we haven't been to any of these places yet because there's no rating and a star hasn't been completed over on the left hand side. And that is an awesome bucket list template. And I love also that you can add pictures so you can keep everything in one space. So let's go ahead and head back to my tables. Let's do another table and we're gonna use another template. And next up is going to be a tracker template. You can see also this one is also popular. It has 69 template options. So we have attendance, recruitment, project tracker, order tracker, employee timesheet. Let's go ahead and take a look at this employee timesheet. All right, we have two different tabs. We have the weekly timesheet and we have the employee directory. And one thing that I see that I really love about this is I can see that these two are linked together. So if I click on the weekly timesheet, we have the name, we have the week started, we have time in, time out, time in, time out all the way down to the end, we have their total work time and if there was any overtime. So let's go to our employee directory and we have everyone who works for us. Now we can also see right here, it says reporting to, this is linked. So it's linked with another piece or another spreadsheet all together, but we get a lot of information from this sheet. So you can use this as a way to track your employees time. All right, let's head back over to our tables. Let's create a new table from template. And next up is going to be a budget template. I don't know about you, but I love to budget. So we have a monthly budget template. We have a travel budget, business budget. Let's go ahead and take a look at our monthly budget template. And we can see we have our overall budget on this first tab. And then we have our months broken down as well as the projected expense and the actual expense and then the difference. So this is a great way to keep track of your money all within Jot form. So let's go ahead back to our tables and we'll create a new table from templates. Next, let's look at our log sheets. So we have student information sheets. We have a call log. Let's go and look at that call log. And we can see we have three different tabs at the top. We have our call log, we have our teams, and we can see that the team setting is done in the card format. And then we also have all of our tasks. Now, one thing that's great about this is like I mentioned, you can link spreadsheets or different tables together. So this one I can see right here, it is connected to our Teams tab. So I can come in here and I can do a drop down and I can change it to someone else who is assigned to this particular customer or business. And if we come back over to our call log, we can see another drop down. what type of call it is. Is it a warm, cold? Is it a follow-up? As well as the call date and the duration. Does it need a follow-up? And we can even 
connect this table with our teams because right here it looks like the person who called we can actually have this as a connection to our teams tab and choose that as a drop down as well all right let's head back to our tables and let's do create a table from a template and this time let's look at our estimate templates we have silent auction bid construction estimate auto body repair let's take a look at this one so here we have that main sheet of the overall estimations we have id name we have the make and model of the car. We also have the estimations. So if I come back over here, let's take a look at that labor. And it looks like this is our staff who is going to be doing these repairs. So if I come back and we head over here to the right, we can see this one is a dropdown and we can add in the operation, the description, who is that laborer and the price. A very easy way to keep track of all of your estimates. So let's add back up to tables back to my tables and let's do create a table from template and let's take a look at our project management and let's do our sprint planning template and you can see our main backlog is gonna be the first sheet we also have sprints we have stand-ups perfect and then we have people now again with this one you can see the different sheets talking to each other. Like right here, we have the different sprints and then we have the different standups that are being pulled from the other tables. Again, in standups, we have the different sprints and we have the different people. And then in sprints, we can see we have the people down over here. Great way to keep track. All right, let's head back over to our tables and create a table from template. And let's take a look at our signup sheets. This is another popular one. Of course, let's look at this volunteer signup sheet. And on the first page, we have our volunteers, all of their personal information and the events they're volunteering at. We have the events that are available to be volunteered at, the event places. And we can see, again, these are going to be connected to each other. We have our coordinators listed, as well as our main programs. Perfect, so we head back over to the main volunteers. We can see here that, you know what, maybe Curtis wants to also participate in the third one and in the first one. And maybe Mary wants to add in IT and childcare to her list of skills. Very simple way to keep track of your signup sheets for your volunteers. All right, back at the top, we'll do tables. Back to my tables, create a new one from template. And this time, let's take a look at our planning templates. Now, of course, we already looked at the sprint planning, but let's go to look at the wedding planner. All right, we can see that that first tab is our overall checklist of everything that needs to be done, if it's been done, and then, of course, the countdown, when it needs to be completed. Now, if we head to our budget, we get to see that expense type, what the expense was and how much it was, possible venues, along with a really awesome rating. Then we have our guests and our seating chart. And here we can see that these two are linked together right down here and at table three, we can add in Larry and at table four, we can add in Eddie. And there you have a great way to do a little bit of wedding planning. All right, let's head back over to our tables and we'll do create a table from template and let's take a look at our CRM templates because you can never have enough CRM data. Let's look at our sales CRM. All right, tab one, we have all of our opportunities and we can see that our opportunities are linked with the leads tab, which is going to be the owner. Next, we have our leads tab. This is everyone pretty much who is an overall lead for us. We have our different accounts and we have our different interactions. Now we can see it right here. We have our opportunities that are listed that we can kind of talk back and forth. And this is a really wet, easy way to move people through your process and a really simple CRM. All right, one more left. Let's head back up to our tables, back to my tables, create a table, use template, and let's take a look at our inventory template. And let's look at this very first one, the product inventory template. All right, first up, first tab we have is our inventory list. This is all of our products. Next, we have our vendor list. So this is everyone who sells our products for us. And again, we have a link to our inventory list. 
And then we have our order history. This is everything that those people have purchased. So we have the product name, which is linked to our overall inventory list. We have our stock location, which is again linked to our inventory list. But this is a really easy way to keep track of your entire inventory. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm tables, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.